it's a new day and i cannot wait to see the new update of dc rob on youtube his channel is so amazing and fun to watch gives information about the country and you always stay updated i can't wait to go watch his channel Okay, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever it is you're located. Thanks for watching. You're watching DC Born Rob Racing Borders. I'm DC Rob. Do me a favor. Oh, I got a one. So appreciate it. So, uh, uh, Luis, can you hear me now? I meant to, man, I meant to text you separately and see if you want to jump up. Let me know if you want to jump on with me. Um, I got a lot of stories about this latest one that has legs. I told you a few days ago, man, this story has legs. Every day something new pops up. And I promise you, if you think you know it all, you don't, because I don't. And I know a lot already from investigating and people like uh, Luis and C. Bing and VJ that pass on uh, some of this information uh, to me. I have a lot of stories lined up for you. I have about 30 to 45 minutes to get through this. And the person that complained about the last one, why I take 47 minutes for you to get this out? That was a live. I hadn't done a live in so long. My average video is five to 10 minutes now. So so chill out. Okay, so sounds nice and clear. Good. Nothing like nice and clear because I had some mic problems about a month ago. And Jimmy says I'm good too. So let me, uh, while I get this started, um, let me pull up this this first story. Uh, but first, there are there have been protests. I'm going to read a little bit of each story. And can I share my screen? Shoot. I guess I can if I dial in right away, but here, I cannot, I can't. So let me read uh, just a, a bit of this. And first, let me know also if you can hear me when I'm playing a video. That I don't know either. Let me run this right quick. Let, let me run this video from our sponsor and I'm gonna talk at the same time. You let me know if you can hear me. Attention expats. Although moving abroad may have been the best decision you've ever made, you might still need to get some things from home. Whether you're shopping online, getting packages from a loved one, or just need your mail from the post office, CaribbeanShipper.com makes it simple. Register today for a Caribbean Shipper U.S. Mailbox account, the number one most referred package shipping service for expats throughout all of Latin America. With your Caribbean Shipper account, you can shop online or safely and quickly have your mail from home delivered to your door throughout all parts of Colombia, Panama, Costa Rica, and Mexico. Okay, can you we hear me? handle Let everything me hear me from receiving... <laughs> consolidation, customs clearing, and delivery. We keep it simple. Okay, could you hear me that last little bit? I tried to talk at the last minute because it automatically mutes me, it looks like. Uh, I'll try to keep an eye on that. Um, also, do me a favor and check out my, my new channel, Big City Houston, that's my other channel. Man, when I get off at five o'clock, I start videos about 5.05. I mean, I take a five minute break. I start my videos like what's coming up. This takes setup because somebody I got a lot of grief last time because I just went live. But so I uh, set the time to be an hour later. So you tell me if this is any better than just me going live. You can always go back and watch the videos anyway. It's still there. But this first story, and I'm going to show a video of the protest. There have been protests. And from people who live there, it is anti-gringo, anti-American anti-S exploitation. And th what they're trying to do is link the fact that this one case happened with an American. They're trying to make it seem like that all these cases are American. And again, if I had to guess, I'd say it's 0.01%. The rest of it is actually Colombia. It's going to be the same in this country. It's not going to be the people who come here. It's going to be the majority of the people here who commit most of the crimes. It's just the, the sheer volume. Okay, but let, let me... Um, let me get into this first story. A feminist held a meeting against S ooh, 
exploitation in Yeddis Park and burn posters. In their speeches, they criticized the merchants in the sector and criticized the measures that, uh, of the mayor of Medellin. A large group of feminists, they keep calling them feminists, like, you know, they're, they're women. Okay, I don't know if they call themselves feminists, but it says a large group of feminists protested at the beginning of this Tuesday night in the in the Yeres Park sector of El Poblado and made a special stop to shout harangues, uh, to shout rants in front of the Gotham Apart Hotel and uh, where during the Holy Week, the authorities detected a U.S. citizen with two minors. It, it, they should have caught this guy. But there again, there's more to this story. But in the middle of this story, I actually downloaded the video ahead of time. So let me pull this up. I don't think I got sound with it, but you can see, clearly see the protest. Can I get a three in the text box if you can hear me right now, someone? You would know this area too. If you've been to Parque Yedis, you would know this whole area, beautiful area. I think it's good they're cleaning it up because, you know, certain elements out there can trash it up no matter how much you paint it, color it, at least they got rid of the potholes. Can anybody hear me? Please put a one in the comment section if you can hear me. Gotcha. Okay. Got threes. Got threes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So you can see it was a bunch of them out there. They're saying that this was a group of feminists. They keep going over the feminist part of it. But while this is up, it's just, a, uh, I think, a minute and a half. Uh, it's, a, it's important to remember that Gotham, a luxury establishment where a stay can cost between two and three million pesos per day, was temporarily sealed. They've actually closed it. But while the authorities investigate whether those who manage it bear some degree of responsibility for the events, crimes that would have been carried out uh, within it by the American Timothy Allen Livingston. Be on the lookout for this, this cat, guys. About whom Interpol issued a blue circular. That was my next story. They did issue a blue circular, which means, again, to gather information. And you can see them outside of places. And, and they picked a couple places right on the main corner. You know where that statue is. They. They picked that main corner to go after one of the establishments. You'll see in a second. It's actually on an angle, so I can't see the door. I don't think it's Yetis Park. It's, it's right to the right of Yetis Park. And there's a club called Yetis Park, not Park of Uh The episode has also sparked discussion about the controls carried out by these types of short stay establishments that are offered to foreigners through platforms such as Airbnb in order to prevent the S exploitation of children and adolescents. Likewise, in the midst of the scandal, over Livingston's actions, Mia Gutierrez prohibited prostitution from being practiced the surrounding uh, parts of Parque Yeres. So they, they are blind, but they, I mean, rest assured, they are yelling at, at, this is, I'm hearing this from people there. They are saying that it, it's the gringos who are initiating all of this, but these group of women are against prostitution. They're against S exploitation, of course. Um, and right now, it sounds like they're against gringos, too, of all different types. So, I mean, that is what it is. But they are also uh, there's also an investigation against eight police officers involved in the case of an American uh, found with two minors. By the way, a couple, I think it's like 10 and two or three were actually part of the mayor's office and prosecutor's office that they're actually going after. Uh, the attorney general of the nation, Margarita Cabello Blanco, announced during her visit to Medellin that the disciplinary investigation was opened against eight members of the national police. Now tell me here, this one, this view right here, tell me if you know which place they're standing up. I can't think of the name. According to the head of the uh, public ministry, the opening occurred because allegedly the officials did not make Timothy Allen Livingston available to the competent authority in the case, the attorney general's office, in this case, the attorney general's office, so that the accusing body could continue with the case. So they're just saying they dropped the ball. They didn't take it to the prosecutor. And there you go. 
Uh, the Oh, here it is. The attorney general's office found that members of the public force, a second lieutenant, a mayor, a deputy mayor, and five patrolmen could have allegedly incurred a very serious offense by unjustifiably delaying their conduct before their competent authority. So they're blaming more people, as you hear, part of the mayor's office with this too. Um, I knew there was a reason from the from the get go. Well, it just, it just stumped me. Why did they keep saying the name of the Gotham Hotel? Let me see. Hey, Louise, can you send me a private chat, please? Just so I see your name up there. Um, and uh, let's see. Oh, shoot, what was I saying? Oh, the Gotham. Why they kept saying the name of the hotel? They never say the name of the hotel. Never, ever. I mean. 0.01% do they ever say the name of the hotel, but from the get-go, they started saying the name of the hotel. Well, there's two more stories I'm not going to get into tonight because they're rather long, but it has to do with the owner of the hotel. This owner of the hotel owns quite a few. I'll just say that. The number has varied from thousands to 135. Um, and I'm sure I've stayed in some of his places. It goes, one of the names there goes by the name of Casa Cold. So if you've ever seen Casa Cold, when you rented an Airbnb, that's who you rent it from. Now, one of the articles actually has a back and forth. I wonder if I still have that up. Has a back and forth communication between the hotel and a guy who, who just got caught before this guy. And it, it pretty much, they just have this, this banter between themselves. Oh, if you, uh, yeah, take a picture of her and, you know, if it looks good, send it to me, something like that. Um, so, shoot, let me see if I have it up. Okay, uh, I may. Nope, I don't. Uh, delete it up. No, I'm on this one. Oh, you know what, though, but give me a second and I'll see how difficult this is to find. But again, it, it's a communication, not between the owner. Well, the owner did get involved at one point and communicate with the guest who had problems. Supposedly, there's a few other people that have been reported for this same crime at those properties. So uh, let me see. Let's take a look. Two more stories. Is this it? Mm, no, I'm, I'll pull it up later, but it's got a it's got a timeline at 2.44. The management says this at 2.45, so-and-so replies. There was another person before this that uh, that had this issue. Let me see. Let's see. Know why this is... Hang on one second. Let me see. No, it's not Gusto's. Um, I don't think it was Gusto's. How do I shoot? Um, anyway, okay, so there's a couple other stories too. I'm just gonna jump in here really quick and get back out. Uh, I'm reading another story. This guy's passport is all over the place. I, I tried to find pictures of him and couldn't find it, except I found it on LinkedIn where this young lady who's an attorney in Medellin was talking about it. She wasn't happy. Let's just say that a lot of people are not happy. It, it's, it's becoming to be an anti-American or anti-gringo sentiment, anti-foreigner sentiment right now. I mean, I knew the story wasn't going to go away, but damn, I mean, this is this is for real. Interpol issued a blue circular against Timothy Allen Livingston for the case of minors and El Poblado. So there's a whole story on the fact that they did get Interpol out of 195 countries to participate in the search for this guy. You've seen his picture on his passport. If anybody uh, else has pictures of him, please send it to my uh, email, dcbornrobgroup at gmail.com, dcbornrobgroup at gmail.com. And I'll definitely post the pictures. I can't believe he's, somebody's got to know him between here and, and America, unless he escaped to Mexico or somewhere else. But now, I mean, they should at least be on the lookout for him, even though they're not going to detain him because a blue circular, again, means you cannot detain. You just gather information. Okay, another story. Uh, Timothy Allen Livingston would have abused two minors in the United States. Go figure, right? 
Uh, this was announced by the Colombian Attorney General's Office, which was carrying out the investigation against the North American citizen. So they they dug into it. He does have a record. Uh, it's not the first time that Timothy Allen Livingston, the protagonist of the scandal of S exploitation of two minors at the Gotham Hotel in El Poblado, is required by justice to answer for the crime of related of S violence against minors. According to the information released by the Attorney General's Office, the man born on June 16, 87 in Ohio, the United States, is also being investigated for the alleged S abuse of two minors in his native country. So these sick people, I mean, they just sick. You know, for me, you just need to, I mean, do you need to erase that energy? How about that? But it says Livingston 36, against whom a Colombian guarantee control judge issued an arrest warrant on April 5th at the request of the attorney general's office will also be sought by the international police inter Interpol. And, you know, I never knew Interpol was international police. Why did I never think of that? Did you know that? Interpol, international police. I did not know that. Uh, at the end, much thanks. Much thank you, sir. Thanks, Rob, for the info. I will be keeping my black behind away from El Poblado until things cool down. Or just or go up there and just not chase the girls. But to be honest with you, if they're looking for Americans and they can tell you're American, you know, whether you got on flip-flops or a baseball cap, they can tell you Americans. Um, believe it. It, it I mean. It is what it is. Uh, 36 against whom a Colombian. Okay, so where does it say? It was announced this afternoon when he was learned that the international police were looking for him, which was, uh, let's see, 185 countries. Oh, they, they keep mentioning other things that were found in the room, too. On the other hand, the Colombian authorities uh, are advancing in the investigation, not only of what happened to the foreigner, found with the two uh, underages in the jacuzzi. So they found him in the jacuzzi with them. And in the room, there was also Mary Jane, the pink, you know what, also known as 2CB, which is, it's not 2CB, it's just, they just mixing stuff on their own. Man, people are nuts. And five used prophylactics. But with the minors uh, who accompanied them, who are sick, oh, by the way, the other story, and I don't have it on here, or maybe it's inside one of them, but the two girls that were rescued were taken to protective custody they escaped, but one of them was found again. And, you know, they don't want to be found. They think it's a hassle. They think they're stopping. They think by stopping all of this out on the street that they're stopping their future. That's actually what these girls think. These girls, these women, they think that you're stopping their future. So this is what they're banking on for their future. This is crazy. It is crazy. Okay, let me say, I think I have one last one. In the case of Timothy Allen Livingston, the Medellin trigger complaints about the use of minors for S exploitation networks. Uh, supposedly, there's networks of these creepy weirdos on Facebook and all types of stuff. Man, the thought of one of you guys watching my videos, and I'm talking to those guys right now, makes me sick. And what does it say? Interpol is much a coalition of member countries who provide each other law enforcement expertise. Got it. Got it. You know what? Let me see. Um, hang on one second. Hey, uh, Luis. Can you check your email? I'm sending you the link to join me. I need the Colombian guru in here with me. So if you if you check your email, pop on with me right quick if you don't mind. I mean, unless you're at, unless you're at work. Thanks uh, as usual to uh, C Bing, all the people that I normally keep in, in touch with. You guys are awesome. Let me uh, before I, I finish this story or get to this story, and Luis. Uh, joins me. Uh, let's see. It's difficult to get anything positive about this. Okay. Let me see what, uh, let me go back up a little bit and see what you guys are saying. Okay. Nice and clear. You got me. Uh, Louis says, with gentrification uh, happening in the popular areas of Medellin, I think that some groups may hijack the issue and link it with gringos as a 
big bag of problems. So, I mean, that's what it looks like. And again, this, this guy that owns this Airbnb has been there for years and go figure. He's from Canada. He's a Canadian. He's been there for a long time. He's been he's perfected, evidently, from what the story says. He's perfected how to buy these properties, learn how to buy the entire building. If I'm not mistaken, he either owns or owns apartments in, in uh, energy. If that gives you any idea, they say this place is nice. I mean, from the outside, you you can't tell. Uh, none of, some of these places don't really have a uh, curb appeal. But um, let's see. I'd rather I'd hate to be Timothy Livingston. Everyone and their brother is looking for him. Believe that. Everybody is looking for him. How how is somebody allowed? I mean, he's, he's pretty. I mean, the, the it's not a perfect picture of him. OK, it's not a mugshot. It's not his wedding photo. But your passport, somebody should have picked him out by now. Um, uh, Wor uh, World Explorer says he better hope the police find him first instead of being kidnapped and uh, secretly brought back to a family member. Hey, he may, you know what? And this can happen, and we not even know about it, too. What up, DC Rob? Uh, who else got robbed in Columbia today? Uh, I don't know. Nobody's notified me today. I see you, Luis. Um, Nobody's notified me today. So you're in the car in transport right now, man. Sorry to pull you over. I hope you pull over and park. Or... I'm just doing some errands. So I happen to uh, see that you're alive. I had to get okay. on, especially with the issue that's going on. This is a hot topic in Medellin. Yeah, I meant to get it to you ahead of time. And for, for those who don't, I got a lot of new people all the time. So I have to keep introducing people and things. Uh, Luis is, is our group moderator in our private group. So if you've been in our private group and you talked to him or communicated with him there, now you see what it looks like. Cause I don't think, or maybe he's got a picture on the site too, but um, I got two monitors up here. So that's why I keep looking to the side. But uh, so he's got a better insight because he does things when he goes there, he's not out on the street. He's in these little small uh, Pueblas and he's doing excursions and riding horses and jet skis and swimming and climbing mountains. So he's got a different perspective than, the regular guy on the street who's going down there for, you know, for women. But what do you think about the whole situation, Luis? Well, I mean, what do you think is what's going to happen? Are, are Americans going to be targeted? Because I was told by somebody today that they have Gringo friends that are leaving. They said they, it's getting too hot. They're leaving. What do you think? I think uh, um, it's important not to, you know, jump the gun. Um I mean, the, the, the local, the Colombian locals, I mean, quite frankly, comparing to what it was years ago, you know, back when you no know, narco trafficking was hot, I mean, uh, and the high, you know, crime was higher. Um, they're actually grateful for the, the high, the, the high impact attention that, that we are giving them now. You know, Medellin is, the, I think, the top 10 now, uh, the most visited country in the world. But, uh, but the issue now, I believe, and I feel that, there's a small group that's very vocal, very vocal, and has a is very effective in getting that message out. If they're going to say, you know, um, you know, gringos are the problem, they're going to find a reason why. And we, and each time some creep does something like that, it gives them ammo. It gives them ammo, and, we, and basically, you know, it's a small percentage of locals that are vo voicing their concern and, and blaming the gringos. And in, 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 in actuality, there's actually more cases. Of, of uh, sexual exploitation of minors amongst a local population. You might remember, a lot of these are controlled by gangs. They, they, they've, been, they've been doing this uh, way before the high interest of Gringos ever came to Medellin. This, this has been going on before Pablo Escobar. So, so uh, but, but, but because we're Gringos, you know, it's going to happen not just in Medellin, this could happen anywhere in the world. It's going to be, it's going to be uh, uh, basically scapegoat we're gonna get blamed so um there is a small i believe uh probably in the, in the poblado area of the, of the laurelas area the most prominent areas and they're gonna use that and uh they're gonna be very vocal and they're gonna be very effective to to put a spotlight on the gringo problem i mean look what's happening with gentrification that's not a, a connected issue but that's a a a, a vet, uh, what do you call it a um avenue of approach for them to use and 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 connected to oh look at this another gringo problem first it was gentrification now it's sexual exploitation so so now they're using two issues and they're gonna make it into a bigger issue and uh, but I wouldn't jump the gun just yet I mean they are most people especially outside of Poblado especially outside into the smaller area like Sabaneta and Vigado 
um, outside of Medellin, they're actually very grateful that our, the, the gringos, us, are actually coming in and spending money and, uh, and, and focusing on their, you know, the, the true travelers are focusing on their culture and, and you know, and, uh, and basically learning, learning to learn about them, their history and their food and everything that comes along when visiting a country. Mm -hmm. There's the one thing I know is because I know with our government here that they can get, you know, they can put out the little signal, whatever they do on, on social media, they can get 200, 300 people to show up yeah. for any position you want and have them show up and get depressed. They're on the news now, feminist protests because of this and everything they're chanting. They can that can be manufactured by the government by one side or the other. I know we do it here. I know this government does it here. I mean, I mean, uh, there, there's um, a lot of them get paid. I mean, I deal with protests all the time, and there's, there's people in front of my building that stand there for five hours, and they won't go to the bathroom. They just protest. I think a couple of times I've seen people about uh, anti-nuclear shenanigans. But I asked them, so, you know, I, I mean, well, you're not getting paid for this. And I guess I am. They're, they're getting paid by, by interest groups, you know? And some of that interest might be. Did they say how much? Like, I, like to, I think about, about $20 an hour, sometimes 18 Damn, that's yeah. a good part-time job. <laughs> yeah. So I, I can imagine uh, an interest group like the feminism uh, of what you were talking about, with that, that's actually sparking these the protests in, in Yarrow's Park. Um, you know, I wouldn't be surprised that they might be paying people, but, but look at how, look at their age. They're very young. They're very college age, university age. Uh, if you look at the news lately, Medellin, there's been a lot of protests in college for anything. There's been, there's been a lot of violent protests in, in, in Medellin. So, so I wouldn't be surprised that a lot of these are younger college age, um, uh, members of protesters. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I looked at, I, I noticed they were young, but that's that's crazy because just a little bit of money. I mean, we always have to, I think we always have to look at things like, we may say it's only $10, but $10 to them is a lot of money. Yeah. Or we may think it's only $2, $2, but the $2 to them, you know, they may be able to feed their family dinner for $2, you know. So we we always have to think, you know, our, our money is is way more to them than it is for us. And I think that's how a lot of us get hemmed up. We, we think we're not showing anything by our watch or ring or something. We think that's nothing. Even we may say, oh, this is a, you know, maybe I have on a metal ring and we may think, oh, it's not metal. No, you can't. No, it's different. They see something shiny and, and you got a problem. Let me, let me get through a couple of these uh, comments, Luis. If anybody wants to join, you know what? I'm going to drop the link also in here. So if somebody else wants to join in uh, your, your verbiage needs to be proper, please. No, don't don't make me have to just take you right back out. Uh, please, no cursing, um, and be respectful of others. That's that's all I'm saying. Um, so that's their future, uh, future and their money. The future and their money. I mean, I know they they a lot of people survive on the tourist business, and th and those were the ones who were protesting last week. They were protesting this place and they were yelling at a, a, a gringo, gringo. They were uh, yelling at a foreign couple. That's the way it looked. But when they explained it, they said they were yelling at the business for being the only one, kind of like breaking a, a strike line. They were the only ones that stayed open. They were saying, shut it down and let's protest together. So they were yelling and trying to run off that last two, uh, set of customers off of them. Let's see, I'm a Latino heritage, but... Even me, when I go to Colombia, they know right away. Exactly. As soon as you start talking, they can tell your accent too. You know, Luis, they, they can tell your, your, what's it called? Your, is it an accent for? It's yeah. Not I mean, uh, depending on where you, what, what, you know, um, for example, like uh, my family is Dominican, but, uh, but, uh, but basically I can blend in very well. None of the Colombians know that I'm, that I'm not, not. You look Colombian. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but uh, but the way I dress and the way I walk and something, then what gives it off is my dialect and the accent. So so they know that. I mean, there's like what 30, 40, 50 different accents in Colombia alone. Paisa's the accent is the most recognizable, but they know that you're a Paisa because they have a certain way of talking. But when you go to Bogota, they they, they just know where you're from, exa from from exactly what region of Colombia you're from. But but uh. But they definitely know you're not from Colombia, especially if you're someone from the Caribbean, Mexico, Central America, or even just uh, an American that just learned Spanish. So they'll, they'll know you're not from uh, from your local. 
Mm -hmm. Hell, I look Colombian if I dress down. Yeah. But as soon as I open my mouth, all bets are off. <laughs> Let me get through a couple of these. It, well, this one says, if he's on Interpol's most wanted list, he can be arrested in any country. If it is a red circular, this is a blue. Blue means there's different, there's like five different colors. Um, blue means to gather information. Let's see, World Explorer. My girlfriend just informed me that her niece that she's caring for was just robbed in uh, Pereira of her belongings and a phone. Two bikes, three robbers total. I'm just not feeling good about coming. I mean, but man, I, you know, what do you say to that? I, what do you say to that, Louise? I ain't got no comeback for that. I, I have no assurity because I don't want to assure people and say, oh, it's safe. Go as long as you stay away from that right there. But perfect example, she was obviously staying away from that, but she got got. Well, and that's the every day. I mean, I mean, there are things that is going to happen beyond beyond one's control. But, I mean, you may be at the random, you know, that's that happens anywhere. You know, a lot. I know some people are going to say, well, you know, you, you know, you how can you say that? Uh, you know, that you're just promoting people to go down there knowing the risks. I'm like, no. I mean, like, been to Santiago Dominican Republic, and there's a risk there. I mean, in Jamaica, look at Jamaica, where everybody keeps going. But uh, it's uh, it's 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 you know, most people who get got. Or yeah, it's, it's preventive. You can you can actually prevent it from being got. You can you can avoid being getting got, you know, by avoiding the the the, the usual stuff like you know don't don't wear your necklace out, don't uh, show your phone, you know. And then there are certain things that you might be walking on the street and you might get got there. They might know, hey, um, this is uh, this guy has some bougie pants, you know, like, let's go get him. And um, but that's rare. That's not, doesn't happen very often. I walked up and down Pablo, Poblado, Yero Park, about, you know, I went to and be God about myself on the time when nothing, nothing ever happens, you know, it's just when you, when you're walking, not, you know, that like, if you're not confident enough, that's when they take notice, like, oh yeah, the she's taking pictures, that's not very common here, you know, taking selfies in the middle of the park, not very common here, you know, so they'll, they'll, they'll know you're not from there, so they'll definitely get you, but again, like, there are things that you can't control, and if it's going to happen, it's going to happen. But it's uh, very unusual that it happens, you know, often, you know, in, in terms of that aspect. So it's unfortunate that that happens to that person. But but I, I believe if, if that person goes down and visits, it's highly unlikely they're going to get got if they're doing the right thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, keeping it, let me get through some of these. Keeping it gangster says, uh, I was going to stay at Energy. Not saying anything's wrong with energy, but I do have a video from a year or two ago. I don't know if you remember that one, Louise. Two guys standing out front, baseball caps, shorts, <laughs> backpack with gold chains, and got him done. And two guys on a bike. I still have that video. I should have saved that video. I mean, I should put it in here so I can replay it because that never gets old. Shoot, I may even have it here, but that never gets old. Oh, yeah. They, they um, were Lee 199. I can't tell if that's a donation or not, but Lee, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the support from anybody here. World Explorer, uh, once he gets to the U.S., the news is probably not talking about it like they are in Colombia. True that. True that. Um, Painstick, Painstickle? Oh, Pantastickle? Man, some of y'all names. Uh, everyone has an opinion, uh, and this story has become a novella. You ain't lying. Uh, I was there in Medellin for the whole time of this story until Monday. It's not a big deal other than the social media and news novella. Okay, I hear you. Uh, it's business as usual there. Well, I guess that depends on who you ask. Um, Matthew, countries ship these pervs back to their Western countries uh, to deal with these normally so the case in the U.S. can try him because him, because house, house him and feed him. Okay. Um, this is just the hot topic now. Okay, we got that. Uh, cops are at the park barriers, IDing everybody uh, while the girls that can't get in. Uh, this let's just bring this up. Anybody, you know, if you're going to be out there and do what you're doing on the street with these girls, make sure you check IDs and take the ID to a store. Take a picture of it, send it to your friend. Whatever you got to do. I mean, if you're going to do it, be smart. <clears throat> let's see. Uh, relax, guys. It's not a big dude. How many times? Okay, let me see how many more. <clears throat> okay. Um, okay, I posted it. Uh, yo, Rob, I heard uh, being fat is better than having a six pack in Cuba for dating. Is that true? I'll never know. I'll never know the answer to that one. 
because I do okay wherever I go. And I'm getting ready to hit the streets now. Matter of fact, what time is it? I'm still trying to come on, phone charge. I got to get out of here in about 15 minutes because I got like four clubs to hit tonight. Live music in every one. That's my other channel. Remember, check me out at Big City Houston. Come on by, show some support. The struggle is real in the beginning. Trying to get a term like live music Houston is is it's work. But let's see if I know what I'm doing. Uh, Daryl says, planning a trip to Barranquilla next month, uh, only going to meet my fiance's family. There you go. Barranquilla is one place I won't go. What is today? Oh, shoot. Okay, another 10 days, and it's the anniversary of Timothy Reed's passing in Barranquilla. And that's why somebody was going to ask. That's why I'm never going, because I, I pissed the mayor off and the police chief. And obviously, I'm not. that's one place I, I have no need to go. But I've heard good things about it. It just, I've heard probably way more bad things about it. Uh, just say gracias to everyone you don't know and you're all right. I mean, I say don't talk at all, but <laughs> except in it when you're in your building and you're just walking on your socialize and yeah, obviously, bueno, bueno, bueno this, you know, I don't know if I can say buenos dias like that quickly. Um, all the business owners around yet are bonding together to fight the 1 a.m. closing uh, so it can be dropped, of course. But we knew that was going to happen and we knew that organization was going to stand up. It's the same organization that uh, that the guy who owns that hotel, again, he owns many properties and he teaches other people and has helped other people and taught people how to buy property there as a gringo. So if you don't like gentrification, he's a big part of it, is what it sounds like. He's been pretty successful and he's got ties. I'm not going to, I'll just read that story as, you know, when it comes. Um, Nangon says, uh, just be sensibly, don't be, don't do stupid things. Hey, that's the same here. Uh, but anybody can get got when it's your turn. I just, if you don't think it's going to happen and you think past it, I think you're good. It's incredible. Easy to spot tourists, uh, that are here for the first time in line, second, third, and fifth time too. sunglasses, baseball caps, shorts, and shoes, American. Yep. Hey, Rob. Hey, Renee. What's good. Let's see. Let me see. I think that's the last one. I'm going in July to visit my girlfriend. Okay. Hey, that's the best way to go. That's what Luis does. He's got frequent flyer miles. He's, oh, you know what, man? I got upgraded to first class the other day when I came back from New York last Friday. Man, I had breakfast. That's the first first class upgrade I've had this year. Wow. Probably the last couple of months of last year, too. I can't remember. Matter of fact, I was American, too, so I was. it was oh. nice. Well, if you if, if for the viewers, I did a little tip. Uh, I know Avianca for those who have more access to Avianca and Copa and even Spirit, uh, uh, they do uh, what do you call upgrade bidding. So, for example, Copa for me is like Delta, it's like very nice, very bougie, very relaxed. And if you buy your plane ticket, let's say you buy a cabin, an economy ticket, and then you want to go to Medellin. About a week before your flight, they're gonna offer you. Would you like to upgrade? And if you say yes, you can, you can give you a uh, uh, go to a different website. You're gonna bid for that. So it'll give you the minimum to bid. You can upgrade for like a hundred bucks. And then nine times out of ten, I up I, I bid a hundred bucks or lowest I can go. I, they'll 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 grant me the upgrade. So yeah, because nobody else is doing it. That's how I do it for the big seat on Spirit. And this one, they when I when I had to check in, they said one hundred and seven dollars. I was like, that was for my second flight because I had to transfer. Three yeah. and a half hour flight. Shoot, you ain't <laughs> never getting a, a three and a half hour flight upgraded first class for one hundred seven dollars. I knew I needed to jump on it, so I called my boss and texted him. Then I thought I missed it. I didn't really didn't know until I got on a plane because it never showed up and it never changed my seat to three B or whatever with three C. Oh, by the way, I did find this video. Um, let me run this right quick for for anybody who hasn't seen it out front of energy. This was, I think, like two years ago. OK, again, this video is from a couple of years ago out front of energy living. You can see the one way street out front. You know where it is. If this is not typical dress, these cats were marked at the airport. I'll promise you they were followed all the way from the airport. Look at this warm up suits, slippers with socks on, backpacks. Baseball cap. Tell me, is this not the, the same guy who has on the American flag that I use in a lot of my thumbnails? And they had on gold chains and you can see them. Uh, they were forced to take the chains off. This is typical, guys. Typical. It's typical. It is typical. 
Let me uh, just go over the, the the headings of the news stories that I went over with earlier for anybody who just came in because I, I got to jump out of here. Uh, but the first one was about the protest that happened. I show video of the protest. If you missed it, go back to the beginning. Um, and basically, it's a feminist group. And that's why I said you could I mean, anybody can get two or three hundred people together to create a, a ruckus and then they get the press. So then you think that's all bad, just like this one guy who happens to be American that is a, a sick individual, they're trying to play up like it's everybody who's going down there for that. When in reality, it's mostly them themselves. I mean, it's just it's just a numbers game. Um, also, they did. Uh, oh, they are investigating eight police officers involved in the case of the American in the case of him being released. And I think it said that there were. Yeah. The attorney general's office found that the members of the public force, a second lieutenant, a mayor, a deputy mayor and five patrolmen could have allegedly incurred a very serious offense by letting him go. So who's to say? Nobody knows if any money. I'm not saying that it did happen, but is that a possibility? It's always a possibility. Interpol issued a blue circular against Timothy Livingston. So there is uh, 195 countries that are gathering information for him. So if they if he crosses country lines and has to use his passport, they they got him there. Also, the, the fact that the same person is alleged to have abused two minors in the United States also. He's from Ohio. Again, if anybody has pics, please send it to me at dcbornrobgroup at gmail.com, dcbornrobgroup at gmail.com. Um, also, this triggered complaints about, okay, so this is what started the whole story. It's a whole story about that. But the story that I haven't touched on really is, is that the owner of that property. And I think that that has something to do with why they keep saying the name of the hotel. They went from never saying, mentioning the hotel, never showing pictures of the hotel to we're going to show you the hotel. We're going to show you the video. And there's better video of the girls counting the money in the elevator. I have all that stuff. I didn't, didn't get that ready, but uh, I'm, I'm getting ready to jump out of here in a minute. Luis, did you want to end on anything else? Oh yeah. I mean, I, I believe, uh, I know Casa Cole very well. I used to stay a lot in a lot of their Airbnbs, uh, the blocks, and in in, uh, in in basically um, in, in in Poblado is one of them. I mean, they're very fancy. They're very very. Uh, they have a, a cadre of real estate agents. Whoever wants to invest, uh, or, or even stay in one of their Airbnbs, but uh, but I uh, I wouldn't worry too much about what the locals think at this time. It looks like it's just a smaller population that's trying to gather more people to 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 side with them but once you get out of poblado and you and all that all the uh, all that you know epicenter of where the where the foreigners stay you know where, where the action is and you go to other places like sabaneta and navigado and you're gonna you're gonna see that it's not much talked about the, the they knew they know what's going on they, they know what's going this type of stuff has been going on for years it's probably over a decade but because there's a new focus of, of uh, you know, of of Americans and, and for, other foreigners are entering Medellin, it, obviously there's something to talk about. You know, now there's a focus from by the media. So this, you know, it, it's important to talk about it and it has to be highlighted. But it's important to know that, you know, I feel that not just yet, we're not going to, we're not being targeted by, by bands or gangs or, or renegades, locals who want to beat up local uh, gringos just because they think we're part of this problem. So it's not just yet, you know, because I, I think I've seen an overwhelming uh, amount of people a, in terms of what they think, and none of them ever said anything about what's the Gringos problem. You know, it's, it's it, they didn't know it's been around even before our high interest, our renewed high interest in Medellin and Columbus all. Mm-hmm. True, <laughs> unless you're an Envigado. <laughs> And you're selling something, you're all American. You may be down there selling weed. That's a whole nother story. That's another. <laughs> That's a whole nother story. But wait till I get to the story about the owner. Uh, remember, if anybody has ever booked an Airbnb, you recognize the name uh, Casa Cole. You would see that as a management company that manages numerous listings. He doesn't have just yeah. one or two. I'm positive because I, I like nicer places too. So I'm positive I've picked some of his places. I think he's perfected the Airbnb in Medellin, Colombia. He saw that uh, expats were coming. He saw that uh, digital nomads were coming. He jumped on it early and that's what you got to do in business. But he may have some ties. Who, who's to say? I'm going to read the stories. 
I'm going to read two of them because they're long. So I'm going to do one each if nothing else pops up and I already have one in a hole too, but I'll do that soon. Let me see if there's any last ones here before I jump out of here. Cause I got to go. What time is it? Oh, I got to go. I'm back. I was on the phone. I'm still coming, Rob. It's just that it was close to home this time. I'm not sure I understand. I live in the Migado and my brother lives in Sabaneta. We don't have any problems. Like, of course. Yeah. It's better down there. I just got the doc documents, Apostle tomorrow, and translated in Spanish, and then to submit it. My man's got his path. You you working it out, bro. I see you. Mm -hmm. Tesco, I enjoy your channel daily. Uh, keep it up. Thanks much. Appreciate it. Uh, hey, Rob, we need a video on cheap phones that that uh, at least have 4K camera. Um, why you need cheap camera with 4K? You need cheap phone, period. Whatever kind of camera you <laughs> got on, as long as you can get 720. Um, John Snow, he definitely has that. But if anybody knows anything about phones or anything, by all means, watch his comment down here and comment on it. Anybody there that knows Tigo or whoever else that you use, he definitely has ties. Okay, so are you familiar too? You must have saw that story. Already investigations going on. Believe that. That's how I know this is going to, this is, this is a novella, uh, a soap opera. This is going to continue to go on. The second phone. Yeah, or my second, just don't throw away. I don't know this, who gives away their phone. I got three or four phones. When I get a new phone, I just keep the phone I got. So I got a few different phones and I don't have a problem. When I leave the country and when I'm in the airport, I don't use my regular phone. I use my old phone and use their Wi-Fi. And I watch mm -hmm. all the movies that I have on, <laughs> on uh, Amazon, what I have on uh, Netflix, five, what's the shoot, what's the other one? Uh, Discovery Plus and youtube and i save mm -hmm. youtube you know because if you pay your a premium member for youtube you can save videos so i save hours of stuff i'm sitting there laughing and having a good old time in first class baby life is good i'm gonna go out and have fun tonight too Luis. i appreciate you jumping on man thank you everybody who joined us this evening i uh, appreciate the support thank you guys for watching uh Luis, i'm gonna jump out of here now bro all right man I, you did, let me see. I ain't not moving in the background. You did pull over. Okay, appreciate that, man. Yeah, I'm actually heading to Curacao, and in, in, uh, I'm going to Medellin on Friday. I'll be there for six days, and I'm then I'm heading to Curacao for another seven days. I'll be back to Medellin for another six days. Okay. So I'll be I'll, I'll be away from the United States for like four weeks of total. Now you're rubbing <laughs> it in. Now you're rubbing it in. Uh, anyway, my second joy is live music. I'm gonna hit top four tonight, and then win. So I got I don't have my travel number one, but I got two and three. And I'm going to roll yeah. with that in a few, man. I appreciate it. Thanks for jumping on so quick, too, man. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys. I'm going to get out of here. Appreciate you guys. Have a good evening.